and it helps make the castle much more solid. My second step is to add the tower. I use a five gallon bucket and I cut the bottom off it to allow me to put the sand through and pour the water in. So I usually put about a quarter of the way full of sand and add water slowly. Because when you have a base that we put in like this, like this base here, quite often if you pour the sand or water in too fast, the uh, water will pour right through and then you'll have to start at the beginning again. So I add it in, add a little more water, and then beginning adding my sand to the water and mixing it. Now while I'm, while I'm mixing it, I'm also packing it down with my hand. Now again, I add more water and I continue doing this until the bucket is completely full. And you'll see the water will drain right through the sand down into the base. Now that my five gallon bucket is packed full of sand and water, I'm gonna add a tower on top of it. But to do that, I'm gonna use what we call patties to make the tower and stack it up. This is gonna take a bucket of water and sand, which you can put into the bucket, and mix it up. Then we take both hands and Make a big patty on top, pack it down good so you have a good base, and you continue to do that and build up, just build up your tower. Sometimes you have to hold the sand just to allow some of the water to drain out a bit. The important part is that it's packed really well and it's solid. Now we'll get to the pointy part of it and that is the start of the tower. Now I'm gonna add a small building on the side, at least the form for it. So what I'll do is I'll use a smaller bucket, which I'll put just next to this one. And what I've done with this bucket is I've also removed the bottom. You wanna make sure that this is taken off and probably have an adult do that for you. Now again, just like we did with the five gallon bucket, we'll add some sand to start. And then we'll start adding our water. Very slowly again. Want to mix it and pack it at the same time to get a good solid base in there. And then again, add more sand. Now this bucket, I'm only going to fill little, maybe halfway, a little more than halfway. Once I have enough sand and water in there, I'll just pack it down well. Now that we have the uh, basic sculpture all formed up with the buckets, we'll uh, remove the buckets we just give it a little bit of a tap on the side. What that does is it releases the sand from the side of the bucket, clean up around the edge a bit, and allows you to pull it off and have your basic shape of the form that you wanted. Now when you're doing the tower, you have to be very careful that you don't damage it by banging too hard on the side. So you just have to tap around lightly. There's a lot of vibration that actually goes through the sand and this could topple. So. You have to sort of be careful and hold on to it. Now this may take you a few tries to get, to get it working properly, but it does go and it just uh, takes a little time and you have to be patient with it. Also, you gotta be careful that you don't have too much sand holding the bottom in, which sometimes happens. Now it should release. 
want to take it off very slowly and be careful you don't touch the tower part that you've prepared. And there you have the start of the form of the castle with the outside walls, the little building, and your main tower that you're going to have. Thank you for joining me for Sandcastle Basics. I'm David Billings, and we'll see you next time. Want to continue the fun? Well, there's always more cool activities to check out on our website. Just visit www.activitytv.tv. Made for On Demand. This sandcastle technique is beginner level. Hi, welcome to Activity TV. I'm David Billings, and I'm going to show you how to carve a very cool castle tower today. Sometimes we use tools that require adult supervision, like a knife. So have fun creating these sandcastles with an adult helper. Now here's what you need to get started. Spatula, butter knife, one spoon, water, and of course sand. To print out a list of supplies and step-by-step -step instructions, please visit www.activitytv.tv. To learn more about a basic sandcastle foundation, check out all about sandcastle building. What we have here is our castle base, and today I'm going to show you how to carve the tower. So we're going to start with this section of the castle. So I'll start on the top of the tower. What we want to do is we want to make the top of the tower a cone. So what you want to do is start in the very top point of it and start just carving lightly the cone. And you want to be careful when you do this because you don't want to knock over the tower. So you can keep going around it and just make it as cone shaped as you can. And what I do is I go around and make flat sides around the top to get my cone shape. Now once we've got the cone, I take my knife and I just go around and I make a straight edge around the bottom of it. And that'll, that'll be the roof for the tower. Now what we want to do is make the tower nice and straight up and down. And I start and I carve a straight line down. And you got to watch for little things that are in the sand. Now, I have to go around the whole castle. You have to be careful that the, you don't make the tower too thin or it could fall over very easily. I'll remove a little bit of the sand at the base of it. And I don't worry too much about little pieces that come out because the tower is going to change a little more as we carve it down and get the detail in it. So now we have the basic length of the tower and it's fairly straight. 
Now I'm going to make a step in the tower, maybe about the same height as the, as the roof, and I'm going to make a little step in it. And you take that line all the way around, and I just carve downwards a little bit and just take a little bit of the sand out all the way around. Now in that part of the castle, I'm going to put a few windows. With a spoon, you just want to just dig lightly into it to make your windows. And or if you're using the knife, I'll go around to the other side, put another window here. The knife, again, you just want to cut lightly into it. And you want to do it in about, about the center, about halfway between the top and bottom of that part of the castle. Put one on the back side here. Now if you don't have knives around or, or you want to use something different, popsicle sticks work. So now we've got some windows in the top of our tower. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave down the bottom portion below that topper or that top section just so it goes in a little bit farther on the tower. Again you need to be a little careful that you, you don't take too much off at once so that your tower doesn't fall over. And again I'm going to remove some of the sand from the top edge here. Now in this tower there's going to be one window up high and then we'll go around and put another one a little bit lower around the side so it looks like there's different levels to the tower and we could even carry that around a little bit more. We'll put one more just in the back side here just so we know it's there. That'll give you a good three-dimensional view of the whole tower. We'll even add one more on the other side. Now we'll clean up the bottom edge of the tower. And the last thing we'll add to the tower is we're going to put a door in it, which we'll just put down over here because it'll go out onto a, a big veranda. Now the door can be just very hollow or you can actually try and make it look like a door. So what I do is I cut this, the side of the wall and then I cut in at an angle to make it look like the door and it's kind of open a bit. And there you have it, your basic sandcastle tower. I'm David Billings, thanks for watching. Want to continue the fun? Well, there's always more cool activities to check out on our website. Just visit www.activitytv.tv Made for On Demand This sandcastle technique is intermediate level. 
Hi, welcome to Activity TV. I'm David Billings, and today I'm going to show you how to build a main turret of a sandcastle. Sometimes we use tools that require adult supervision, like a knife. So have fun creating these sandcastles with an adult helper. Now here's what you need to get started. A spatula, butter knife, one spoon, water, and of course sand. To print out a list of supplies and step-by-step -step instructions, please visit www.activitytv.tv. To learn more about a basic sandcastle foundation, check out all about sandcastle building. What I have here today is the main shape of the sandcastle. Today I'm going to show you how to make the main turret. So today we're going to start with some stairs along the edge. We want to start at the bottom here and we want to curve a line all the way up as high as we want the stairs to go. I mean you can have the stairs going high or low. Then I'm going to make a line for where the door is going to be with the stairs. So now that I know where I'm going to put my stairs on this, I need to cut some of this sand back so that we have an edge for it. So what I'll do is I'll start going around the top and just slicing down to get our area where we can put our stairs. And of course we need to go all the way around. Since the stairs come all the way over to here, we need to bring that area all the way across and around. So now what I do is I'm cutting at the angle just above where I want my stairs to be to make the shape of where the stairs are going to fit and where we're going to cut them in. So I keep going around, following all the way up that edge and all the way down. And now we have where the staircase is going to be. Now the area where we're going to have the uh, door is going to be flat, so we want to just cut straight in, shave down a little bit, cut straight in again, until we get a little flat stair step for the staircase. Now continue shaving this edge around here. And on the back of the staircase, since it's sitting out from the, the main part of the turret, I'm just going to have a straight line all the way down and then shave the back side of the turret so it looks like the staircase is actually sitting on the outside of the turret. So now that I'm uh, finished getting the basic shape of where the staircase is, I'm going to work on putting the parapets in. So I'll just go around and cut little blocks out of the sand, all about the same size and about the same distance apart. Now I'll go all the way around and do this and I just as I say, cut lightly with a knife and just take little blocks of sand out. And of course, you want to do this all the way around so that it does uh, make your castle look really three-dimensional. Now, what I want to do is I want to put an edge around that so it stands out a little bit more. So I cut a line all the way around, all the way around the top, just so that we have it stand out. And we'll add a couple other little features to it just to make it a little cooler. What I like to do is I like to use the spoon and just make little divots below it. And I do that below where the block is in the parapet. And you'll see little pieces of sand falling off. I don't worry too much about that. You can always try and add a little bit back on if you like or you can just leave it. It looks a little bit more natural, more like an older castle and that's maybe been around for centuries. So now that I've finished that portion of it, I just shave around underneath a little bit just to make that edge stand out a little bit more. Now we'll add some windows. And for the windows, I'm gonna use a spoon. And since we have a staircase, we're going to have our windows follow all the way down along the staircase. So we'll start a little ways down on the staircase and dig in our first window. And the next one is going to be lower down, so you want to maybe put it about the same level as the bottom of the first window, but a little ways away. So we can add that one in there. And these can be big windows or small windows. You pick whatever size you think is right just to show that, helps show that the staircase is going down and 
there's different levels to the tower here. Now we'll add the door in, just above the staircase. So the door, you can make the door square. And this one I'm gonna have as just an open door, so I'm just gonna dig it in nice and deep. So it looks like it goes way in deep into the castle. Plus it'll make our top of our staircase stand out a little bit more. And just sort of dig the sand out. There we go. And the last, on the windows and door side, we're gonna put some fancy windows on the back side. So if you come around the back, these ones are gonna make long, thin windows, almost like sort of a cathedral type window. And these are very easy to do. What you wanna do is first just make a line down, maybe a long one, and then one on either side, a little bit shorter. Now, if you keep them all at equal distance apart, they're gonna look a little nicer. Then I make sort of a V cut in towards the line. I leave a little bit of space between that and the center line. And I just make a V cut and I just follow it all the way down to the bottom. And I do again the same thing on the other side to meet the center of that little V cut. So now we've got our first window. Do the same thing on the shorter lines, a little bit shorter ones. And then again on the other one. Now with these, these particular windows, I'm gonna actually put a little bit of a frame around it. So just gonna make a line to follow the edge. So now that we've done that, we're gonna make all this whole face, all the way around, rocks. So to do the rocks, there's a couple ways of doing it, but I like to just go around and sort of pick at the sand and just make them different shapes, different sizes, sort of circles and squares and in different places. And once you get going and started on it, you'll find that you can just sort of move it around and then you'll be able to just scribble around on it and make your rocks. And you just need to keep working all the way through, throughout, all over the sculpture. Now before we finish the rocks, we'll just make little frames around these windows also, just to give it a little more definition and they'll stand out a little better. Finish up those rocks. Again, just keep doing the squiggly lines around different shapes and sizes. And the last of our rocks. Now we just have to clean up the little edge for the staircase, and then we can make our stairs. What I like to do on stairs is I like to make a little edge underneath, so it really shows that the staircase is going up. A little edge underneath the flat part at the top. Shave a little bit down underneath it. Now for the stairs, you just want to take your knife and just cut little, little V's in it. And you just keep going around, start at the top and work your way down. That way you're not burying any work with sand that you've already done on your castle. And you sort of just follow the line of the, that you've made for your staircase all the way around. You might find it easier to use the flatter side of the knife for when you're making your stairs. That way you cut a little straighter line in and you don't have that little curved part that's going to leave a round, round area at the edge. We'll make another secondary building just to, just to add a little bit more to the castle. I thought I'd just make a little house of sorts. First we'll draw a line across both directions and then we'll make a roof and we'll angle it down. First start on one side and then the other. Just cut an angle from the middle point. On this side, we don't want to get too much sand over there, so I use my hand just to keep the sand from falling down on everything else that I just worked on over there. Just sort of move it away. And again on the back side, just to clean it up a bit. So that's our roof. Now we'll take it from corner to corner. We'll just cut straight down. And again, straight down, straight down. And again, this back side's always a little tough to do, but we can slide it straight down. Then I take my spatula, and you can just pick up the sand and move it out of there. So what I'm gonna do is put a little edge to our roof. Just cut in here and just slide the blade down. And again here, back. And on the inside. Mm -hmm. 
add a couple windows on each side just so you have more character in your house. And we'll add some shingles. Shingles are kind of nice because they add a lot more detail to it. So we just run the knife straight across the tops, blow a little of the sand away, go across and meet up with those lines on the next one. There you have your little house. There you have it, the main tour, it's all complete along with the little side house. Thanks for joining me. My name is David Billings and we'll see you next time. Want to continue the fun? Well, there's always more cool activities to check out on our website. Just visit www.activitytv.tv. Made for On Demand. This sandcastle technique is expert level. Hi, welcome to Activity TV. I'm David Billings. I'm going to show you how to make the main walls for this great sandcastle today. Sometimes we use tools that require adult supervision, like a knife. So have fun creating these sandcastles with an adult helper. Now here's what you need to get started. Plastic cups, a flat nose sand shovel, spatula, butter knife, one spoon, water, and of course sand. To print out a list of supplies and step-by-step -step instructions, please visit www.activitytv.tv. To learn more about a basic sandcastle foundation, check out all about sandcastle building. Here's how we're going to get started making the main walls. I'm going to take my flat nose shovel and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the main sides of the walls first by just cutting straight down. And the walls don't have to be perfectly square, but if you can make them as square as you can, that'll work out great. So I just cut all the way around, cut down the main walls. Get nice and flat. Now from there I'm going to add some small turrets on each corner. So what I do with that is I take a little plastic cup and I just cut the bottom out of it. And I take a little water with another cup here, put it in the corner, add a little sand in there first, and then pour our water in. Just pack it down a little bit with your fingers. Once you get a little packed, then you can add some more water and then add some more sand for it. And we'll do one of these at a time. Just tap the edges a little bit. That'll make it a little easier for the cup to slide off. 
There we go, we have one. There we go. So those are all ready to go now. Now that I put the small tops on the turrets here, I'm just gonna go down and shape the edges of each turret first before I start working on the main walls. So I'll just go along and cut down along the turret. Sort of in the shape, same rounded shape that you've made the top of it. And I'll go around and do that to each one of these, just so they're all ready for when you get to your main wall part. Now once I've done that, I will uh, move on to the main walls. And what I'm going to do is cut the main walls a little back from where the turrets are, so they sort of sit back in the edge of them. I'm going to use my shovel again it can remove a little bit more sand faster and just cut straight down right along the edge of where the turret is. Just do this back side and work around. Do one side at a time. And the front wall. With the front wall I'm going to leave a little extra sand on it just so that I have some extra work with because I'm going to add some details, more details to the front. You want to be careful when you're cutting down that you don't take a big chunk out of part of your sand cast. Now this next step is to uh, get the tops of our turrets done. Once we get the tops of our turrets done, then we can work down the walls. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon and I'll make a little hole in the top. I always dig from the outside to the center. That way you're not putting too much pressure on the outside. So we'll do each one of these one at a time. And then I'll take my knife and I'll just cut little V's in the top, just for the top edge of the turret, all the way around. And you'll have it similar to what this one looks like up top here, the bigger one. And we'll work around and do each one of those. Again, cutting the little V shapes. So again, back to the first turret we started on. Now I'm just gonna clean up the edge of it a little bit and make my lines a little cleaner down. Cut down the length of it and then cut down the length of the wall a little bit. Just makes it stand out a little bit more. And again on this side, and then I'll move around to do each, each one of those. Now once you have the shapes of the turrets in place, you can add windows if you like. I'll add two windows on each one. I'll just use a spoon and dig the windows out. And you can make different shapes of windows. You can make them round, you can make them square, you can make them ovals, you can make them triangles if you like. Whatever, whatever you like to have on your castle. I like mine in two different levels, so it looks like their turret has a couple different levels to it. And the main ones are the front ones, so we'll just put, put some windows in the front ones today. Now that we completed that step, we're going to uh, now make an edge around the top, all the way around, and then we're going to make some brickwork all the way around the top of the castle, just to give a little more detail. So first, I'm going to draw, draw a line all the way around, just so I know about what level I want to have my bricks at. Once I've done that, I just shave again in in underneath that line and the little sand will fall off so you just slide it up along the walls and now we'll do the brickwork so the brickwork all I am really going to do is I'll just put lines straight up and down try and evenly space them all the way and sometimes what I'll also do is I will just take a little bit off the top that makes it look like the bricks actually go right into the back of the castle. Again, the more detail you add, the more it's going to look like a real castle. Now, for the front of the castle, I'm going to add a doorway. So again, I'm going to take my knife. First, I'm going to make sort of an edge to a wall here on both sides. Clean up the wall a little bit. Now I'm going to make a big double door in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the middle, make a line down, just only about a little ways down from the top. 
and then I'm going to make a curved line across and around this way and a curved line across and around the other direction. So we have a big double door. I'm also going to put a frame around it, so we'll make a nice big frame. So now that we have the frame there, we're going to cut the door in. What I do is I take my knife at an angle like this, or whatever tool you're using, and I sort of cut in a little bit of an angle all the way along that line I made for the one side of the door. And then I'll follow it along, along the frame too, just to make it a nice clean line. And I also do the same thing with the other side. So now we have our doors, and they could be a little bit open, so we can just make a V cut, what I call a V cut. So I cut it a little bit of an angle in towards the center, straight down, and I do the same thing with the other side. One of the other things we might want to do is add some little features like bricks on the frame. And again, it just adds a little more detail to the sculpture to make it a little more real. A little more like a real castle, maybe from ancient times. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, work to build some rocks in between the door and the turrets just to make it look a little bit different, add a little bit more fine detail. So what I'll do is I'll go around and just start making different shaped rocks all over the wall and going in fairly, fairly deep and usually starting again at the top and that way when the sand falls down it just falls to the ground, it doesn't fall on the rocks that you had to look. And again I'll do that on the other side of the doorway so it looks nice and even. And there you have it, the main walls of the castle. Thanks for joining me, I'm David Billings, and we'll see you next time. Want to continue the fun? Well, there's always more cool activities to check out on our website. Just visit www.activitytv.tv. Made for On Demand. This sandcastle technique is beginner level. Hi, welcome to Activity TV. I'm David Billings. Today we're going to add some cliffs and some landscaping to this fabulous castle. Sometimes we use tools that require adult supervision, like a knife. So have fun creating these sandcastles with an adult helper. Now here's what you need to get started. One five gallon bucket, a flat nose sand shovel, spatula, butter knife, water, and of course, sand. To print out a list of supplies and step-by-step -step instructions, please visit www.activitytv.tv. To learn more about a basic sandcastle foundation, check out All About Sandcastle Building. To get started, first thing I'm gonna do is add some water around this area so that we can firm up the sand to start our landscaping and cliff area. 
So I'm just going to go around and carefully pour water just so we don't damage any of the edges of the sculpture that, that is already here. What you're going to want to do is go around and, and pack the sand really well with your feet around this area. Uh, you need to have a really good combination of both the sand and water so you can compact it well. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat nose shovel again and then I'm just going to figure out an area that I want. I'm going to want to put a road in here at some point, so I'm going to leave this a little wider out here. And I'm just going to dig down a little bit, just to start getting the, the areas together. And they don't have to be straight or, or anything. You can make the land go in any shape, form you want. This area, I'm going to maybe try and put some cliffs in there. This area is just going to be flat out the back. Again, we're just trying to get a get it, make it look like in a, it's on a nice portion of land, somewhere out in the forest, somewhere. Once we've gotten to that stage, I'm going to uh, put a bunch of trees in first. So you got to have your bucket of water. We're going to do what we call drip trees. You want to take about, you know, maybe a quarter of your bucket full and add lots of sand. Now, depending on how many trees you want to make, is probably about as much sand as you want. I mean, you can, make, you can make hundreds of trees if you like. So you want to get the sand so it's nice and wet. Get, get a bunch in one hand and just start packing it down. Now what I do is sort of pinch up the trees to make them stand in there. we'll do a bunch of trees. Doesn't take too long and they make it look really nice and it adds a lot of character to your castle. And you're going to want to make them different heights, big tall ones, little short ones. And I'll do a few back here. Maybe a couple over here where this cliff's going to be. We'll add a couple to the other side also. Again, you can make all kinds of different different things, add them in, do a few of those. And there we have our trees. Now I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to make our road. Now we want the road to get bigger as it gets closer to you and farther away from the castle. So I'll just flatten out the area a little bit and then I'm going to draw a line from one side of the door and sort of like a big S. And then I'm going to take another line and draw it from the other side of the door. And I'm going to draw it like a big S also, but it's going to get wider as it gets farther away. And that'll make it look like it's coming from a castle that's quite a ways away. So I'll go along that and I'll just clean up the road a little bit along the edge. It's just taking your spatula just along the edge of it and just cutting a little bit of the sand out. That way it'll look like the road's actually a little bit farther down than the ground is. Do the same thing with the other side. I might have to make the line a little bit deeper. So now we're going to add some rocks to the to the edges and so on. Like it's sort of on a cliff or on a on a rocky embankment. Now rocks, they're all uneven. So you can just start taking little pieces out of one rock. Then you can have another one below it. So I mean you can just keep working away. And they're all uneven, so they don't have to be any specific shape. Just cutting nice straight lines. And pretty soon, you start seeing a whole bunch of boulders that are on the edge of this cliff, maybe going down to some water. Then we have some grass that just flows out nice on this area in here. Smooth it down a little bit with your hand. I'm going to do a few more rocks on this side and then we're going to have just sort of a grassy feel here. And just sort of, as I said before, just keep sort of cutting out different shapes, but always try and make sure the lines are nice and straight and sharp just by cutting away and then pulling the sand away. That way the rocks will really stand out when the sun hits them. Now we have a few, few boulders in there and then an area where the grass just 
flows down away. Now down along this side, I thought maybe we could put a little bit of a cliff. And this is a little different rock than those. These rocks would be what they call shale rocks. So they have a very straight line to them. And they're usually at a bit of an angle downwards. So what we do is we actually just take our knife or our spatula and just, just cut a nice straight line in one direction downwards at a bit of an angle. And then we go below that and we continue to do that again.